Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this lovely bow garland. Uh, we will be using Red Heart yarns today. I'm just using all scraps. So you can see all the scrap yarn that I'm using is a scrap project. These are tiny little bows that um, will just, you don't, you don't need a whole lot. Uh, you can make these in one solid color. You can make these in two different colors or as many colors as you want. Uh, so, um, but it's not very much yarn at all. So um, the size hook we are going to use today is an H size hook, which is five millimeters. So make sure you have that on hand. You can go up to an I hook, which is 5.5 millimeters, or uh, even a J hook, which is six millimeters. If you want bigger bows, totally up to you. But I'm gonna use a five millimeter hook today. And then also a scissors and yarn needle are needed uh, to sew in your ends and cut your yarn. So make sure you have those on hand as well. Before we start, I do want to mention to check out the links in the description of this video. I'll have the link where my uh, to my blog where you can find out uh, where to get the written pattern for this project. It'll be free online. And also there's a link to my Facebook. If you uh, please join me there, make sure if you make this or anything of my crochet projects. Make sure to share a photo on Facebook so we can admire your work and you can in get inspiration from other crocheters as well of our lovely community that's growing so fast. Also uh, check out the link um, to my Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram and if you post a photo on Instagram make sure you hashtag Yarn Utopia so that I can see your work and admire it as well. And then follow me on uh, Snapchat as well. You can see behind the scenes clips of what I like to do on my free time. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And um, that's all for today. Let's just get started in making this lovely garland. I've been getting some comments on my nail polish, so I did want to show you what kind of nail polish I'll be wearing today in this video. It is Sinful Colors, and the color is called Ruby Ruby 369, so make sure if you want to get the same one, they could probably get it at, online at Amazon or any department store. So that is the color that is on my nails today. All right, to start out, we need to make a slip knot. So put the short end over the long end, fold that down, and then pull that through, and pull tight. Insert your hook, and we're ready to go. Now we're going to make a foundation single crochet. So we need to chain two, so yarn over, pull through, one, and two. And now working in this second chain from the hook, we are going to work our foundation single crochet. So the loop that's on your hook never counts as anything. So count one and two, insert your hook right in there, yarn over and pull that through. So now you have two loops on your hook. We are going to yarn over and only pull through one of those loops. And then we'll yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. That is our first foundation single crochet. Okay, now it's nice to work um, vertically like this. So I turned my work to be vertical because we're going to be working in this bottom loop here. And what I mean by that is through these two loops down here. Okay, so we're going to insert our hook right in there then yarn over and pull that through, then yarn over and pull through one loop, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. That's our second foundation single crochet. So now go into the bottom of that one under these two loops, which looks like our chain, our bottom chain of our work. Go under those two loops, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through one loop, and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. We have one, two, three. Okay, so now continue, and we are going to make 40 of these. Okay, you can make them longer or shorter, however big you want your bows to be, but uh, just make 40 of these foundation single crochets, 
and I'll show you again go underneath or I guess above them we're looking at this side so to the right of these two loops yarn over pull through yarn over pull through one loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay so just continue doing that until you have 40 of them and then I'll show you how to fasten off and how we are going to make these bows all right so I just did my 40 um, foundation single crochets so this is what my chain looks like okay so you want to kind of stretch it out so it doesn't curl or anything and then at this point we can fasten off unless you wanted to make your bow a little bit bigger uh, to see how big your bow will be I'm gonna take this out for a second so you can see we're going to fold this in half and then we're going to see how big we want our loops to be I guess that would be good and then we're going to twist this okay so we twist like this one loop okay and then that will be essentially how your bow will look so if you want these loops to be bigger or smaller or whatever then just make your chain shorter or longer your uh, foundation single crochet chain so but I like this size uh, this will be perfect for the size that we want to work with and so to fasten off we want to I usually just chain up one and then I cut my yarn and I pull that all the way through and then I pull that tight okay and now to um, finish this bow off this will be our first bow but then the rest of the bows it'll be easier if we just make a bunch of these foundation single crochet chains and then put them together um, after you have them all finished which I am going to do I'm going to show you so make um, as many of these as you want and then we're going to sew in these ends Okay, and then sew in this end. Okay, and then let's see here. Stretch that out. Make sure all your stragglers are hidden. Okay, and now for your very first one you can finish it off okay so we're going to fold this in half to make sure it's even and then we're going to go to about midpoint for however long you want these ends to be and then push that down and then twist one side or both sides so that it kind of makes like a pretzel okay and then make sure that is how you want it to look and then take your yarn go over the top of it like that having a long strand down the bottom and just wrap around the center of this bow okay and you want to position this so that it looks like a bow Okay, so this is your very first one on the garland. For the rest of them, don't finish them off like this. Okay, this is just for your first one. Okay, so just wrap it, you know, five to ten times around that middle, and then you want to cut that yarn, and then you want to tie it in the back tie it in a knot okay then take this and your sewing needle and then wrap it around where you just tied around to sew that in 
wrap it twice or three times, totally up to you. And then it's safe to cut that. Okay. And then you can just position this, stretch it out, manipulate it however you want. Okay, so this is the first one on your garland, okay? For the second one and the rest of them, uh, do not finish them off like this, okay? This is our first one, so we obviously want to finish it off, but then we are going to attach the next one. So let me make another one, and I'll show you how to attach that one and the rest of them along the way. All right, so I made a bunch of these, and um, now I'm going to show you how to attach to your first one. So you have your first one all done. And what we are going to do then is loop this from the back to the front on this side. Okay, just like this. And now we are going to make our second bow. So you want to make sure that this uh, yellow bow right here stays in the loop of the next bow. Okay, and to do that we are going to fold this in half just like this and then go about halfway down and move this in the middle and then kind of cross over these two like this and you can even twist one like this okay so then it'll be like this and then take the yarn that corresponds with this one and remember to put it down like this, have a little bit of extra down here, and then wrap it as many times as you feel comfortable. So I'm going to do like five to ten wraps. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that should be good. Okay, and then we're going to whoops, cut that and then turn it over and then tie a knot just like this okay then we're going to take our sewing needle take those stragglers there and then wrap it around once or twice it came off of my needle here there we go and pull that all the way through there we go and then you can safely cut those down. Turn that forward. Make sure your bow is all pretty. And I don't know why that's doing that. Make sure your stragglers are all sewn in. There we go. Lovely. So now we have our second one attached, just like that. So then I'll show you again how we want to do it, it again. So I have this next one done. We want to thread this from the back to the front of this bow. Make sure that you fold this in half and go about halfway on that. Then push this down and crisscross these two and then twist this like that okay then take the corresponding color and wrap it five to ten times one two three four five six seven and cut that, bring them to the back, 
tie a knot. And then sew in those stragglers. By just going underneath what we just wrapped. Okay, and then it's safe to cut those. And there you have it. Our next bow is complete. Okay, so just keep uh attaching them. Now if you made, you know, your first one and then made another one and accidentally did not attach it and you have one like this one already made but I want to attach it, obviously I won't be able to attach it to this very next one. But what we can do, and it's going to be a little bit difficult, is if we can go through here and then go through the front of this one. Okay, so it looks like this. And then make our bow I think we can still do, oh, you know what, maybe we have to make our bow like this, and then attach this one from the front around it. There we go. I just twisted a little weird. But that way, you can make a bow, two bows, and then attach one in the middle of them, and then take your corresponding color and wrap it around, and then you have another bow. It's a little bit more tedious doing it this way, so I just suggest you do it all uh, in one one strand, like one after the other after the other, just because this can get a little tedious with two with a bow on each side of this bow, so especially with wrapping. So that's my suggestion, but you can do it either way, whatever you feel most comfortable doing. But I'm just gonna finish this bow real quick here. You can watch while I finish this. It may not even turn out. I've never done this way before, so. But I made a bow and I want to use it. Okay, and then cut the yarn. Okay, so we have this all nice. Turn this to the back. Tie your knot. And tie another knot. And I'm going to cut this. And then I'm going to yarn my needle with these stragglers so I can sew these in. Okay. And literally, I'm just going around the wrap that we did. I'm not going through any stitches. I just go in around the wrap that we did twice and then I cut that and that is secure. Okay, so this is what we have so far and I need to just work out. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. And then this one like this. There. So that looks awesome. So you just want to play around with it and work it however you want to make the bows nice and pretty and make them look like bows. So I'm going to continue working on these. Now I have this next one here. So just go through the back to the front and just continue working your bows. How You can make this however big you want it. You can, you know, make them longer or larger and you know these would be a great idea for um, 
holidays for, you know, it'd be cool if you did it in alternating greens and reds. That'd be cool. Um, you can do it like I'm doing it with just a bunch of scrap yarn and a bunch of different colors. Um, this would be great for a any type of party. I mean, a graduation party, a baby shower you could do this in pinks or blues or nowadays they do the revealing party so reveal the baby uh, if it's going to be a boy or a girl so that'd be kind of cool if you had like one garland of blue and one garland of pink um you know there's endless possibilities to these you can have these as decorations you know at the buffet table you know at thanksgiving or um at christmas time when you're getting together with family and you have a big buffet table, you can have this along the edge of the buffet table, you can have this uh, across a window, you could have this um, across, you know, any type of, any house decoration, or you can hang it on the wall by itself or something, you know, it's really, it's really a piece that you can work, you know, any time of year and for any occasion, so that's really nice. So, but this one I'm making for the holidays. Just bright colors and fancy things. So, make sure when you twist this that it doesn't get super twisted. Because you want your bows to all land the same way. So, I'm on a roll here, so I'm just going to continue finishing this. And then once I'm finished with my garland, I will meet you up and we'll finish together. All right, so I just attached my very last one here. I just attached the rest of these uh, the way I showed you in the beginning with the first one. Um, I wasn't a big fan of attaching this one with having two bows on each side, but that was my personal preference. You can still do it, um, but it did not save me much time. So uh, I just liked doing one by one by one. Um, another thing while I was attaching them, I was thinking, you know, this would be cool if it was, if you had, um, like, an awareness um, ribbon cause or some type of, you know, um, awareness event, like a benefit or some type of auction or some type of event, that you, if you made these all in that uh, color for your awareness ribbon, like I would do uh, purple for Crohn's disease, I could make a bunch of these and have these as a decoration at the event. I think that'd be really cool. Also, uh, you could make just one of these bows and have it as a gift topper on a present that you want to give to somebody during the holiday or for a birthday or something or just thinking of you kind of gift. These would be really cute uh, bows on any type of present. So uh, I hope that uh, you enjoyed making these and making this video and, you know, making these bows. But um, before we go, I do want to mention again to look at the links in the description of this video. I'll have the link where you can find the pattern, the written pattern for these bows and also uh, to my blog and to my Facebook. If you make these, if you make these in the same colors or different colors, I definitely want to see your work and what you use this for because this is really versatile. Oh, oh also you can put these on the Christmas tree. You can put a, make a garland of a, a hundred of these and and wrap them around your Christmas tree this holiday season. So there's so many things you can do with this. It's just like popping in my brain, like all the things that you can do with these bows. It's just so much fun um, project. So also check out the links in the description of this video. I'll have the Facebook. Make sure you share a photo. If you do share a photo, even on Instagram, make sure to hashtag Yarn Utopia so that I can see your work and admire all your creativity. And also uh, follow me on Snapchat too. You can see behind the scenes footage of what I like to do on my off time when I'm not crocheting or when I am crocheting. And lastly, I do want to thank our videographer and editor of this video, Fuad Azmat, for taking the time out to make this video with us. Oh, last thing. Make sure to check out my channel here on YouTube. Click that subscribe button. And then on my channel, there's a button on the right-hand side is, is in blue. Uh, make sure you click it. It says support. Support us so that we can keep bringing you fantastic crochet videos. Happy hooking!